Taking a stand against addiction. That's exactly what hundreds did today in Niles. Their message straight to the point, letting drug addicts know help is out there. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley has more on the walk against heroin. I want them to know what it's like when you get that damn phone call. Okay, I always knew it was coming. You just don't know when. George Wagner lost both of his sons, Mark and Duke, to addiction within four months of each other. It's a pain he has to live with every day. I always told him, I said, Mark, and, I, and his brother too, I said, guys, the streets are going to kill you. And they did. It got both of them. And he's not alone. The reality of it is all too real for me. I have a family member that's been addicted for about 30 plus years now. So, I mean, I'm aware of it. And I've had a lot of people that I went to school with pass away from it. We need to be more aware of this problem and not to just push it aside. Oh, they're doing, they're junkies is what a lot of people will call them. And it's not that, it's, just, it's somebody's mother, it's somebody's daughter, it's somebody's son. Niles is a small town. I grew up here. I have over 70 friends that died. I'm 31. I lost over 70 friends to overdose and family members. That's a lot of people in this little town. That's why Samantha Hurd and her friend Erica Clay decided to put on the Niles Walk Against Heroin. Hundreds of people showed up, all supporting each other and remembering loved ones lost to the epidemic. But they're also teaching people about the problem and ways to help, like the Perry Initiative, aimed at taking the crime out of addiction. The woman spearheading the movement here is talking with police departments across the valley to try to get them on board. The police department gives an option for the addicts to bring in their drugs and surrender, and then they would find a rehab facility that donates their scholarship to put these addicts in rehab, and they usually get in that day that they turn themselves in. All in all, the folks here walking together just want to help. It's everywhere, you know what I mean? And it's like, we have to try to do something. If we keep just shoving them off and saying we don't want to deal with it, then it's not going to get any better. In Niles, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.